Here we are at the North Interlakes day use area. And uh, if we swing around to over here, uh, just up those stairs there, there should be some picnic areas down around there. That would be the hard mountain for experienced climbers. Uh, it's called Mount Indefatigable. And if you kind of follow me up over here, uh, the reason why it's called the Interlakes area is because it's between lakes. So right there is Lower Kananaskis Lakes or Lower Kananaskis Lake and up in behind the trees will be Upper Kananaskis Lake. So we're going to go to the Upper Kananaskis Lake because I believe the Upper Kananaskis Lake will lead us to some more picnic area tables and it's a, actually a bigger parking lot, a massive parking lot. So this is the map, you'll see uh, the Upper Lake over here. got some uh, bear activity going in there we're not sure exactly what kind of bears usually it's grizzly is what I've seen around here um, this area has been a pretty frequent area for bears like usually I don't know uh, just about every year they'll shut this section down but uh, you stay on the path and stick with a good group you'll be fine In Upper Kananaskis Lake area. Uh, I think the elevation when we checked it out was about 1600 meters uh, up. So this kind of serves as a bowl for some of the tributaries of the surrounding mountains. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh. Off leash and go down in the water. Ooh. This is Upper Kananaskis Lake. This is at the altitude of height of 1,600 meter. The water comes from melting snow from these beautiful snow-capped mountains. <laughs> yeah, like it, it just worked. That was like, wow. Actually, I've rarely seen geese in the mountains. But... It's all because of Madame, that's why. Yeah. I didn't really yeah. Really good. And it totally, so part of the elbow stuff, kicks butt on elbow. Elbow. Right there. Yeah. That mountain right there. So yeah. if you follow that stump, drop. Yeah. Drop down where it parks over there, roughly. Yeah. Not exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep her going. see these lakes are fed by these tributaries okay and they show you the surrounding mountains up here uh, you've got the upper lake and the lower lake where we had come from we came from the actually we came from this area interlake area and now we're somewhere around in here at the upper lake parking here this is just simply uh, the showing that the barrier from the continental divide between the Alberta or British Columbia side and the Alberta side so the warm air from the ocean will come up the windward slope so this slope is called the windward slope because the wind comes up here and then you'll have what's called the it'll drop its precip precipitation here this is why you'll notice in BC uh, a lot of the mountains will look like that over there which is very lush as opposed to the rocky side here so it'll drop its moisture there and then it'll come down what's called the leeway slopes because it's leeward and usually that's where we get the wind and that accounts for why Alberta doesn't get a lot of precipitation. And then of course, you know, uh, some wonderful animals like the osprey, loon, trumpeter, swan. Actually, uh, we saw uh, some geese earlier and that was cool and uh, the jagger. So you get a lot of wildlife in here. I've actually on the path that we just took ran in ran into a moose years ago. I'll get a picture for Madame. 
Uh, we're at the Upper Lake Deus area. There's a whole bunch of parking uh, here and on the back end. I just want to take a quick look, see if there's some picnic tables and such. Obviously, you can see somebody set up a hammock. There's a picnic table there. Picnic table there. Oh. People come here to fish. It's a pretty heavily trafficked area, um, but you get lovely view of the lake over there. It's about 10.45. 1045 and it's already pretty packed so my suggestion is uh, try to make it here before 9 or at least 8 o'clock set up uh, we've got a picnic area there we've got tables here got plenty of video footage so I'm not gonna make him do that but if you take a look across the way there over there is where we were planning to do the picnic so from there to the waterfalls uh, according to my watch we started at about 11 o'clock and we didn't really run too fast we had a nice easy stroll through here it took us 20 minutes right so maybe someone who's slower going might take them 25 to half an hour maybe tops but it's very scenic beautiful place to be you got Andrew and Eva kind of taking a little bit of a tougher climb. I think this might be up to Rawson Lake. There's a lake up there that's feeding that. It might be Rawson Lake. Uh, we'll take a look at that for, for the experienced hikers. We'll look at that in the map. This area here, that trailhead, is for Ross and Lake. Actually, it's a very nice, very nice setup. Um, we're hoping to, at some stage, get Andrew and Wanda and her trail rider and fire up there. Hopefully, the bear closure is done. Uh, they usually, I think, maybe about August sometime, they'll the bears will be well fed and probably stay out of this area, and we can get back into that space. Uh, we got to make a decision here: do we go back or are we going to try taking a run? So it's looking like the northern interlakes where we came from is 10K. More? Yeah. Oh. So I'm thinking we might want to turn around. <laughs> yeah, because 10K is just a little bit out of our league for today. Uh, I think we've done probably about 5K from where we're at, depending on Eva's watch. I think we can do 10K as well. <laughs> we will double back. We still have food then. <laughs> No, Unless Madan wants to run the 10k yeah, around that we'll way and then meet us on the other side, because yeah. you really can't get lost on this trail. It just what about Joseph? Are you ready for 10k? Yeah, I think we should return. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go back today, but we'll save that 10k for yeah, another day. Yeah. We found a great campground. We found some amazing waterfalls. Uh, we know Ross and Lake. Now we know where to get to for Ross and Lake. We're set. We'll be good. We're golden. Yeah. yeah what about Andrew? Are you ready for 10k or you want to return? Oh, I think we should return. <laughs> For a hike like this, I would highly suggest a Tim Hortons Turkey and Bacon Club Sandwich. Beautiful, you got your carbs, you got your meat, uh, you got your bacon, some fats, bacon. life is good. <laughs> but really on a true hike, um, uh, it start up with a lot of carbohydrates, uh, not a lot of protein until near the end of the hike, simply because protein takes forever to kind of digest and absorbs a little too much water if anything. You know, the usual salty trail mix snacks just to kind of keep the water retained. And then as far as uh, water is concerned, um, this is a short hike, so 
we get just a 500 bottle milliliter, but you notice it's kind of cloudy because I put a little bit of a carbohydrate mix in there just to kind of keep the carbs up, uh, keep the energy going. And if this was a bigger hike, I'd right. have a backpack similar to Andrew's with a hydro pack in it uh, with a similar kind of concoction just to beat the hydration. But today the weather's a little on the cooler yeah. side, so we don't really need too much water. But yeah, yeah. stay healthy. Andrew has a nice bag. Can you, <laughs> <laughs> can you please mention about the bag? Has the bag? Yeah. Believe it or not, I bought, uh, my wife got it for me from Prince's Auto. So yeah, how comfortable it is for hiking? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's, uh, because of the metal frame, it's a little bit on the heavier side, but I figured I'd try it out since she bought it for me for Father's Day. Andrew's bag's got the hip belt. So you want to keep the bag high on your back and on your hips, the weight on your hips, so it's not dragging you around. I hear this blue line here, it's called, uh, it's attached to his hydro pack, so he's got his water in there. Uh, the line will come around and he can, it's got a bite valve, so you bite down on the valve and suck up the water. Super handy. Joseph, you're eating something different. Yes. Uh, what's that? It's a kiwi. It's very healthy, huh? Eh? <laughs> no, I just like to eat uh, fruit mm -hmm. because it's less... Uh, energy to digest yeah so you, you think fruits are uh, fruits are good for hiking mm -hmm. joseph yes. you have grapes also yes grapes and cherries yes they are very healthy <laughs> <laughs> Do you, if you say so <laughs> the cranberry juice is very good for hydration and energy as well okay what else do you have madame yeah i have lots of fruits like you wow yeah I have uh, grapes in this box. Whoa. I have avocado, cashew nuts. I soak them and it's easy to digest. In wow. I, can, I want to show you inside as well. Oh, really? So, look. Oh, that looks really good. Yes. Okay, enjoy, madame. Yeah, okay, thank you. Now I'm going to eat. Madan is coming out of his house. Let's go. Yeah, it's a really very wonderful house. I didn't oh, need it, but I got it as a gift. This and I got my sunglass here, which was lost before. Okay. Joseph, his neighbor, Eva's just uh, looking at the house there. <laughs> like, come with me. Okay. Oh, this is my, this tower is, look, the tower. <laughs> okay. Can I ask us Upper Lake Tower? We just build this? <laughs> That's actually the property line that divides uh, Joseph's house. <laughs> wow, this house looks, this house looks awesome. This is oh, the, Eugene's house. So, my dad, you're looking after Eugene's house while he's gone? Yeah, I'm just looking. His door is open, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Maybe he's inside. Let's, let me check. Okay, let's check, yes. He's not here. No. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, sorry, he's there. there. Oh, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's this guy doing in my house? <laughs> so it's a really nice place. We enjoyed and yeah, we have Hunter as well there. <laughs> There's another one. There's one up on the bank. If there is one in the water, there's another one up on the bank. Oh, no. So, yeah. This Kananaskis. is Kananaskis Upper Lake. It's a beautiful hiking trail around this lake. We have already completed half of this hiking, but still, next time we need to complete entire circle around this lake. This is really a big lake, and this is an island, beautiful island. We're ending the hike here. It's actually been pretty fantastic. Uh, we're actually scouting it out for the Toastmasters hiking crew. Uh, we found an awesome parking spot. There's picnic tables and all that up over there. And uh, we were surprised with a beautiful waterfall. Uh, we traversed or kind of hiked up a little bit there. It was great. And Eva actually had one of her dreams come true today. We saw moose. We didn't actually get to see it close up, but the moose was on a trail 
end of a fantastic hike. Hopefully you guys can make it out. So much wildlife, wow. Uh, they are lucky. Okay, they're, they're coming on the other side, you see them? They block completely. They block, yeah. <laughs> oh, they can jump over, wow. Oh, oh they are jumping. Go ahead, go ahead. Wow. 